It is 5 a.m. on Halloween and I somehow made the decision that I was gonna wake up at 5 a.m. and read for 24 hours straight. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Yes, I did snooze my alarm a few times, but it's still 5 a.m. I don't even care. Right now, I am going to make myself a coffee and a hot water bottle and get back into bed and start reading. And I'm so excited. So, happy Halloween besties. Welcome to this 24 hour readathon. Okay, it is now just after 6 a.m. and I am up. I am ready to read and I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I got the idea for this readathon ages ago and I can't believe that I've actually managed to wake up. I've woken myself up now. It's honestly amazing how some cold water on your face can actually wake you up so much. But yeah, I've made my coffee. I've made my hot water bottle. I'm about to get into bed and start reading my first book and I am so excited. I literally can't wait. So the book that I'm going to be starting with is Starlings by Amanda Linsmeyer. I started this book last week I think and then I paused it to read A Curse for True Love and now I'm going to finish it. So honestly it's my goal to just like read this one all the way through right now and just like finish it really early in the day so that I can move on to some other ones. This is the perfect like YA gothic horror and like really spooky things are going on and I can't wait to finish it. I can't wait to read more. This is also my October Patreon buddy read book so I will be doing another vlog for this as well but I will still like give you some updates and like tell you where I'm up to and what my thoughts are and stuff so yeah I'm ready to start my Halloween 24 hour readathon and this is going to be book one Update. It is now just after 7 a.m. and I am on page 134 of Starlings. I think I started on page 84, so I've read 50 pages in an hour. I did take a couple of breaks because I had a few messages and stuff that I needed to respond to, but I am still reading this. I'm still really liking this. It is not that long, so I am like, I'm just under halfway through, I think. This is spooky. This is eerie. It's one of those books that has like a really spooky setting and like a small town that just is just like wrong. Like there's stuff that is just like there's something not right in this town and like everyone in this town is really suspicious and like really odd and she's made like a friend and I'm suspicious about everybody I don't trust anybody in this book and in this town but like I want to trust the friend because I feel like books are so much better when there's like more than one character you can trust but also I'm not letting myself trust him too much because I don't know it's a horror book so I feel like she's gonna like tell him too much of her plans and then he's gonna like report back to someone or something like that like we've not met his parents and he's being like really sketch about like going to his house so i feel like there's something about his house or like about his family or who he is that like we're not supposed to trust him but then maybe he really likes her so like he won't betray her i'm just coming up with theories from absolutely nowhere like these have no credibility at all but yeah loving this book really comfy right now honestly like i have my water bottle i have my dressing gown i feel like this dressing gown is going to be so apparent in this entire video because i'm so comfy and warm and cozy but yeah that is my update for hour one i might put on a playlist while i read maybe not a spooky playlist though because i'm not that brave i'm not that brave but the sun is starting to rise so i feel like i'll read another little while and open up my curtains let the daylight in you know okay hour two update it's now half past eight and i have made it to chapter 15 of starlings which is page 209 i've so far read 125 pages today which is the slate honestly because it's literally half eight in the morning i'm really liking this book it's really spooky and it's really eerie but i'm really intrigued many things have been discovered and unveiled since i updated you last i did make a prediction and i was correct i did film it in my spoilery reading vlog for it because i was like i need to say this before it's revealed to prove that i got it right but yeah, i've literally got exactly 100 pages left of this book so i'm gonna try finish that honestly in the next hour i did open my curtains because it is daylight right now and it is bright outside i don't even know how this book is gonna end like i actually have no clue it could be a good ending it could be a devastating ending like i actually don't know this is interesting and i am intrigued to read the last 100 pages and then we'll have to decide what book i'm going to pick up next 
I have just finished my first book of the readathon and it is currently 10 20 so we are just four hours into the readathon. I didn't give you an hour three update because I was nearly finished the book and then I just said I would wait until I finished the book. So yeah I have finished Starlings by Amanda Linsmeyer. This book was really good. This book was genuinely very very good. It is a YA horror so if you're interested in reading a YA horror go for it. Pick it up. Like I'm tempted to rate it a five stars and I don't know why I'm not rating it a five stars. That's Misty's wind chimes, by the way. I think I am gonna rate it a four star slash 4.5, but maybe I'll just give it a five. I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't give it a five because I've just finished A Curse for True Love, which was a five star and I liked that more than this. But also I do kind of think that this might be a five star, honestly. So yeah, I really, really did like this book. I'm not really gonna say anything else about it because I feel like the less you know about this book going into it, the more you will actually enjoy it because I did get shocked by all of the plot twists. Well, I don't even think it was like necessarily plot twists, but like everything that went on, I was like, ooh, okay. Didn't necessarily see that coming, except actually the one thing that I did predict, which arguably was the plot twist, which I did predict, but it didn't take away from my enjoyment of the book, so. Slayed nonetheless. But yeah, I think I'm gonna give this a 4.5 star and a 4 star on Goodreads because I don't think it had like that 5 star feeling for me even though there was nothing about it that I necessarily didn't like. If that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, anyways, we are four hours into the readathon. I've so far read 239 pages because I did start on page 84. So I would honestly count that a win. Like I've literally read since I woke up. So yeah, that's such a slay. Right now, I think I'm going to get dressed go get breakfast and start my second book. I don't really have like a TBR for this readathon so I don't really know what I want to pick up next. However, the other physical book that I did want to read during this readathon was Clown in a Cornfield number two, Friend o Lives. So I may just start on this one because this was like the other main book that I actually wanted to read during the readathon. But this book is long. It is like 400 pages or over 400 pages I think and also it is like a physical book and I've just literally sat and read nearly an entire physical book already this morning so maybe I'll switch it up and like read a short kind of like dark romance on my kindle or something and then start this one but then again because it is a long book maybe it's better to start it earlier in the day so that I can try and finish it this evening basically I really don't know but also this is giving me such nostalgia for the Halloween readathon that I did in 2020 because I read Horrid by Katrina Leno and then also the first Clown in a Cornfield and this book gives me such Horrid by Katrina Leno vibes and then this is obviously the sequel to Clown in a Cornfield so that's really nostalgic because that was honestly such a slay Halloween and I dressed up as Harry Styles so I will leave the link for that vlog down in the description box it's probably horrendous because I was 15 but still it's it's memories and vibes but yeah this is the other book that I do want to read during this readathon I would be really really happy if I managed to finish this one because I mean it's Halloween I need to read something scary this is a slasher about a killer clown in a small creepy town and that just sounds amazing but also I don't necessarily think I'm gonna want to read this book after tomorrow because it's not gonna be Halloween anymore it's not gonna be spooky month so I do want to read this one today however I also kind of wanted to read Butcher and Blackbird on my Kindle and I think that that's like 200 and something pages so I might potentially start reading that one read a little bit into that one and then maybe switch to Clown in a Cornfield when I'm a bit of the way through and then kind of like alternate between the two of those. That could be my plan. Finish this one early-ish in the evening and then read Butcher and Blackbird in the nighttime. But yeah, I'm gonna go get dressed. I'm gonna make myself another coffee, have breakfast. <laughs> page 127 of Clown in a Cornfield number two which is chapter 10 and it's really starting to pick up now. Honestly like up until like the last chapter or two it was kind of just like build up and like you know setting the scene for us because basically like the main characters in this book are the survivors from the first book so like they were just like you know dealing with the aftermath of that and the fame and kind of like being like well thank god that's over but obviously we know the title is Brendo Lives so so obviously you know the clown's gonna come back but yeah things have just started to pick up right now and it is starting to get spooky it's starting to get really tense and I'm really really enjoying it we have a few different POVs as well in different chapters which I'm really enjoying and I definitely feel like one of our trusted characters shouldn't be trusted I have no theory as to who that is there's no reason behind that except for the fact that I feel like that's going to be a thing like that one of our like 
main characters is gonna be bad basically that's my that's my guess that's my theory but yeah like i've honestly read like a good amount already i am so excited to keep reading i think i'm gonna go make myself some lunch right now it's kind of a late lunch but I'm gonna make myself something right now because it is half past two and it's honestly kind of dark outside which is crazy because it should not be dark at half past two but anyways I did sprints I was on reading sprints with Sarah for a while and then she went to go get lunch as well we're both gonna have lunch and then we'll probably do some more sprints later it is Sarah's birthday today as well happy birthday Sarah but yeah that is my update for right now still reading this still loving this still taking advantage of reading this while I'm not home alone because I think I may be too scared to do so when I am home alone but yeah that is my update for right now okay it is now a couple of hours later it is 10 to 8 in the evening I took a little break a while ago and then I actually fell asleep for an hour and then I woke up and then I facetimed my best friend for an hour so all in all I've actually taken a couple of hours break but honestly to hear the fireworks in the background but honestly that was needed because my eyes were definitely getting very very tired from just physically reading and just staring at words on paper so i'm rejuvenated i'm ready to go again and i'm ready to get back into clown in a cornfield i made it to page 148 it's starting to get spooky it's starting to get like really tense and things are starting to happen okay besties i realize I am tired. It is currently 10.44 in the night and I am tired. I have hit a wall in this readathon where my eyes are burning and I don't necessarily want to read anymore and I'm trying to push through. I am trying to push through because I am so close to finishing this book. Well, I'm not actually that close. I've got like 140 pages left but that's close enough but I am tired. Like, I am tired and I did take an hour nap earlier, but I'm still sleepy. So I think I'm going to close my eyes for a brief moment. Just rest my eyes. Not sleep, just rest my eyes. Famous last words, but we're going to, we're going to see. And then try and wake myself back up and finish this goddamn book. I'm so tired. I'm literally so tired. I don't think I've read this much in a single day in like years hi besties okay i'm coming on here to wrap up the halloween 24 hour readathon and give you a final reading update because i actually succeeded with this readathon and i read a lot more since i spoke to you last so i think the last update that i gave you was that i was gonna rest my eyes for a few minutes i think we both knew that that was a lie and that i did in fact fall asleep so i can't remember exactly what time that was i think it was about 11 p.m i did fall asleep on the couch and i woke up at like half three and at half three i was like do i just go straight to bed or do I persevere and finish this readathon and I persevered and I finished the readathon which honestly I'm very impressed by so at half three this morning I continued reading Clown in a Cornfield number two I read for over an hour and I did manage to finish this book I loved this book I really really did I don't think it was as scary as the first one I think the first one definitely was more intense definitely scarier definitely more suspenseful but that being said I really really did enjoy this book like a lot like I really really liked it I think I'm gonna give it a four star because it's not a full five star but I did genuinely really really love it and I'm so pleased with myself that I actually managed to finish this book as well I actually took a screenshot of the time that I finished the final page and that was at 4 43 this morning I actually slayed this readathon like I'm not even gonna lie I did slay this readathon I read two entire books and I read so much I really enjoyed my time and I just I think that if I was gonna do a 24-hour readathon in the future it is actually the best method for me to start really, really early in the morning because I always lose steam in readathons when I have to like sleep and then continue the next day because it feels like you're doing it for two days. I did take two naps. I did take a nap at like about six o'clock and then I did also take a four hour nap from 11 to half three. But like still, I would count that as a success because... I read for practically the whole 24 hours. I actually think that this is my most successful readathon to date, like for reading 24 hours straight. Like I actually think that this was my most successful. So to finally wrap up everything, I read Starlings by Amanda Linsmeyer, which I gave a 4.5 stars to, and I read 239 pages of this. Absolutely love this book, would highly recommend if you're looking for a YA horror. And then I read the entirety of Clown in a Cornfield number two, Friendo Lives, which was 406 pages. And I honestly am very impressed that I read the entirety of this book and didn't even get like fed up of it because it is a long book like 400 pages of the same book is 
is intense you know like that's a lot um but i just thoroughly enjoyed it really really liked it it is the perfect amount of scary like jump scare suspense i just loved it so much and again i would highly highly recommend and there is also going to be a third one so i might try and do another 24 hour readathon next halloween and read the third one so yeah i managed to read two books both of them were very highly rated 4.5 stars and four stars they're actually both probably 4.5 stars i did give them both four on goodreads but i think they're actually both 4.5 and in total i read 645 pages. I'm really really happy with that. I think that that is probably the most that I've read in a single day in probably this entire year I would say. My reading has been very slow this year and I'm actually still in such a reading mood so I can't wait to pick up another book and get reading on another book. But yeah that is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed. I thoroughly enjoyed my Halloween, my introvert bookish Halloween. I had so much fun and I hope you enjoyed watching. If you watched to the end comment all of the spooky emojis that you can think of and yeah thank you so so much for watching. Stay amazing, stay kind and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>